Welcome back everybody, welcome to our new today we're in the world of outlaw sprint cars here at Williams Grove should be an interesting race tracks pretty clean for the most part ran okay time in practice I ran like the mid sixes if I run a good enough lap I think I can get in the fives but I think it's gonna be tough to get in the fives I'm just hoping to run like a low seven into the sixes for the most part I have the wing at like negative six I believe right now yeah so we're just gonna do the best we can here. Try to keep the car straight, get a good run for the start finish. I'm gonna go low and kind of just keep in it and get the grip on the outside. And one and two, three and four, I'm just gonna run like right through the middle. Try to keep as much speed as we can. Got it got sideways right there, which wasn't great. I'm gonna try to go in high and go kind of off low. One and two here. That was not a great lap at eight. Not like a little bit better of a three and four. Kind of got sideways off of four though. I don't think it'll be faster. No, it was a 17 flat. It was not a great time, but everybody's time seemed like they fell off because first is a 710 right now. Not uh, 704 now. Three car got 704 when they were in the fives for practice. So we all fell off a little bit, which makes some sense. Track it a little bit worn in. There are 16 people in this race for car number two. So far, we're starting fifth. I think the start of this race and every restart is going to be absolutely crazy because people just send it in the turn one of this track. But hopefully, we can hold on to where we're at. If not, drop one spot the worst. And I'll bring you guys back. We're getting ready to go green. All right, we fell down the sixth. I think being on the outside will be a little bit better for us, to be honest. Thinking about this restart a little bit. I feel like you can get more of a run off the outside than on the inside. So we'll see how this race goes. I'm gonna start the the wing out where it is. Actually, I'm gonna bring it to seven, and I feel like the middle of the track is gonna get kind of worn out, and then the, everybody will kind of move up higher. It's hard to keep a lot of speed at the bottom in these cars. So we'll see how the race goes on. See how the three and the one run up front. Let's kind of see where they're running at. But hopefully we don't get too many cautions. It is a full field of 16. Only 16 people registered. So that's why I feel like there's going to be some cautions. Because who knows what kind of eye rating everybody has. I think in practice, wherever the 14 is, he was blinking and like lagging all over the place. So that might cause some troubles for people back there. Hopefully he doesn't end up anywhere near us. Yeah, he's back there in 13th. I know he was blinking everywhere, which is terrifying. Like he would go from the top of the track to the bottom. It was it was bad. Hopefully we can get a decent jump here, get to the outside, and uh, hopefully we don't wreck in turn one with with everybody else. I just have a feeling turn one is going to be a mess. It usually is at this track in like any series, even the slower series like. The limiteds or 305s, he would just send it into turn one and a bunch of people wreck. So I'm just hoping we don't end up a part of that stat here. Just need to get a good straight start. I, I have a feeling some people may be behind, and I hope I don't do it. Uh, just hit the gas and get sideways coming off a of four. So you gotta manage that for the most part. But my last practice, the track got pretty worn out through the middle. We were running super high, and I still could run into, like, the mid-sixes on, like, the end of a fuel run, basically. Which was really interesting. You you definitely gain some speed there when your car has a lot less fuel. Slide back in your seat, buddy. So we'll see how this Slide race turns out well. and how the track slicks off. The Waiting on the three car who has lead. There he goes. They didn't have a great start, but it seems like a ton of people didn't have a great start. We are, like, clear in six. They're almost three wide in front of us. They got two wide. Three car running the outside. Looks like the one's running the inside and one and, and three and four, I should say. Seems like everybody made it through turn one and two clean, which is nice. The one car is trying to make that, like, middle to bottom line work which is really interesting. Not really what I would have expected. And now we get a caution. Almost going on the lap two. Don't know where the wreck was. Wasn't around us at least. Whoever had, whoever started out in the pits got lucky and didn't go a lap down. Somebody was wrecked there in uh, turn one. I saw him go by on the relative and I looked at my mirror and they were on the inside. So I don't know what happened to them. It was off turn two it looks like. 
maybe they just uh hit the inside barrier or something trying to run inside of somebody it might have flipped them i don't know but a couple laps under caution here these caution laps are kind of long at williams grove because of the long ass straightaways but i'll bring you guys back and get ready to go green again all right fellas all right, we're only single file restarting, so that actually should help out some of the wrecks, I feel like. Because people being double file is definitely worse for turn one here. So I feel like that's going to help out. Maybe we'll get some more green flag racing due to that. But it could be kind of crazy on the start if everybody just, like, accordions up. That could be very bad. At least you have somewhere to go if that happens. But hopefully we can, uh... Get some green flag laps in here, see how the track slicks off, and see if some multiple lanes will work or not. Behind me had a really bad start. I didn't have as good of a start as the top five did, but still okay. Not terrible. I want to get some fuel burned out of these things because they drive so much better once you have a lot less fuel in it. And we immediately get a caution. Let the 10 car by. Where's the 10 car? <laughs> I have no clue where the 10 car is. I think he was a lap down from the wreck. So that's annoying. But it seems like people can't keep it straight. Yeah, it seems like we all do. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's telling me to do the same thing. Yeah, there's some. probably straighten it up. Straighten itself out. I think the 10 car is a lap down, though, as far as I know. No, he's at he's in sixteen. Racing that didn't have a clue what's going on. Don't know what's going on, but uh, these pace laps seem kind of uh, scuffed right now. Where so is the ten? I'll bring you guys back. We're here to go green. Hopefully, Everybody all this is sorted out. Like they have all, these great bands all right. So well, this is scuffed. The ten car went and got the lead from that somehow. Oh no, I guess he's a lap car. He wasn't blue for the longest time until just now. So I guess he's he was like tail end of the lead lap and getting to go to the back now so he kind of got lucky with that i would say because i think he was in the pits from the wreck and then came out right before we took the green i'm assuming that's probably what happened but when he was going by us he, he didn't have the blue name so i was very confused i thought it was a glitch that happened uh like a couple months ago in the i want to say it was these cars or the 305s one of the two Decent start there. Not as bad as last time, but the guys behind me had a pretty good start also. Hopefully we can get some laps in here and people stop wrecking. But I think people are probably throwing sliders in the one and just coming up and nailing people is my guess. Because there's a lot of room to throw a slider. Ooh. He got into the back of that red car, I think the four. The four car is making some moves on the bottom there. Five car went, or six car went flying up the uh, turn one there. I like running the inside here once it gets really worn out because it makes it interesting. And we get a caution. God damn it. We only get like two laps in at a time. Come on, guys. You don't get like any chance to make moves. The four car did good on the uh, restart, got a couple spots there. I think he got one on the uh, six car, and the six fell back two spots. We're gonna have enough fuel. <laughs> we'll have plenty of fuel, I'm pretty sure. You just have to pace it probably on the low side if we keep getting a bunch of wrecks, but also the time might run out of the session if we keep getting a lot of wrecks. Because we're not hardly getting anywhere in the race. We're only on lap six. This is already caution number three, which is kind of ridiculous, but kind of happens at Williams Grove, so got to expect it sometimes. So another caution. I'll bring you guys back again. All right, everybody. Let's get ready to go racing. All right. Hopefully we can get going green this time. I don't know who's causing all these cautions. I don't know if it's 14 or not, because I know he was blinking a ton in practice. If he's still blinking, I'm not sure. He is in 10th now, so he's gained a few spots, but we'll see what happens here. I saw the six car, like, hit the wall under the caution laps on the front stretch. He just, like, veered straight right and hit the wall. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if he if it messed up his front right wheel or not. But he lost a couple spots on the last restart to the four and the five. So we'll see if we can try to get around him. That was a decent restart. Got away from the guys behind us some. Four car is really trying to make something work out on the low side. Don't think it is. 
Seven car behind me had a good run on the outside. I just need to go back outside. I'm not as good on the bottom when the outside is fast. Oh my God, we oh, can't. Damn it, boy. We cannot get any laps in. Like we're having a good race up front. It's just the fact that people behind us can't keep it straight for some damn reason. I don't know why. Is that the 14 that left? That might have been the 14 that left. So I wonder if he was blinking and got in a wreck there or something. But people cannot keep it going straight for some reason. It is ridiculous. So fourth caution. We're only on lap eight. I don't even know if we're going to get all 30 laps in this race at this point if this keeps up. So bring you back. We're getting ready to go green once again. One to go. All right. One to go once again. Guys, kid in the back. Can we please get some green flag racing? Like, the track's slowly getting worn in. We're barely getting any laps on it, though. Like, people are just sliding in turn one, and we're not really getting much off of the corners worn in because we're hardly green. Like, so we're getting the sliding inwards, like, on the entrance of these corners, but not on the exit because we're not really on throttle anymore. Keep getting decent restarts. Hopefully we can get another one here. Wasn't as good as previous, but the seven car had a really bad one. I'm really trying to be careful with throttle coming off turn four, going through three and four because it is so slick through there. There's a battle for the lead, it looks like. They're side by side. The four car is also trying to make himself present up there. One car is trying to work in that bottom along with the four. There's definitely a lot of room on exit, so I wonder if like I can go in kind of higher in one and two and then come off a little lower. Ooh, that five car might have hit the inside wall or the tire down there. That got loose off of turn four. Ooh, five sliding up some. Six car got that spot. That was a good move by him on the outside. Trying to run this outside lane. Damn, I was like so close to it with the right rear. Trying not to get in the wall. I think the three car went super high into that corner. One of the black cars up there did. The three or the one went super high into turn one there. Trying not to clip the wall on entrance or exit. Off of turn four, it's real tight. Off of turn two is not too bad because you have a lot of room. Top lane coming off turn two is getting pretty worn in. We finally made it more than two laps at least. Knock on wood, hopefully we can continue. Got like half a second on the seven car behind us. After that, there's not really anybody near. And we get a caution. Made it about three to four. Jesus, maybe five laps at the most. That's unfortunate. This track's really starting to get worn in though. This is what I was hoping for because sprint cars destroy tracks and it makes it real fun, so. About halfway in this race, finally, after five cautions. If you guys are still watching this, I appreciate you guys sticking through all these cautions because I hate being in this kind of race. I had a feeling it was going to be somewhat like this because it was only one split, and you never know how some people can handle these things. Some people can't, and uh, they're kind of in over their heads a little bit on these cars. So we'll go back and see all the incidents after the race anyways, see what's been happening for all these wrecks. But up front, it's been some pretty clean racing, and uh, hopefully we can continue with that. We're on one to go. All right, one to go. About halfway through the race, a couple of people are trying to come off pit road, so I don't know what's going on with them. Gonna yeah, they're going to go to the back. They came off a little late. All right, so we're gonna have to come around the thick you can get some damage fixed under dirt caution because the laps don't count, but you have to still come out early enough to get in front of the field. If I was in like the 305s or the Limiteds like I ran earlier in the week, I'd be able to roll the bottom really well because that worked out for me in the Limited late models. These cars are so fast, it is tough to, and the outside kind of just works a little bit better. One car is really waiting on it. I'm throwing people off from how the uh, three car was running his restarts. That was a decent one and two. Yeah, the one car ended up getting the lead on the last run, getting on, getting it on the bottom. Oh jeez, I'm just in the gas way too much there off the of turn four. Everybody's starting to migrate to the bottom. Six car got in the back of the four. 
Five car had a huge run, clips the back of the six. That's gonna give us an opening to get to his outside. He's gonna slide up though. He almost got in the wall. I'm gonna try to slide up and turn one. Try not to hit that opening there. Jesus, we are so sideways off of turn four there. Seven car had a good straight run. Should clear, oh geez, he's gonna get in the wall. I had to check up or I was gonna run straight in the back of him. I wish I could tell the seven, sorry for pushing him down because I didn't mean to. I got two sideways off of turn four there. Five car really pushed it there in one and two and got in the wall hard, flipped himself. He's out of the race. Hey Dylan. That was terrifying because that was right in front of us. And seven car had a really good run there, getting to our yeah, inside. Did, but, I, uh, did I blink out on your screen? But we barely had him at the line, I think. Oh no, yeah, we barely just, had uh, him at the line. Damn. Slowed up a little more than I was expecting. So, so we got another caution, but that was actually to due to there. a guy up here hitting the wall right in front of us. Luckily, we missed that. Didn't get any damage from it. And uh, hopefully we can keep up this racing. It's been uh, pretty fun up front. And it seems like everybody's migrating to the bottom, which is really interesting. So we might have to try that here on the next run or just keep trying to run the outside like we have been. One to go. All right. One to go. We got about 11 laps left when we go green. This top lane on both sides are getting so high. Like you're up by the wall coming off turn two and that's what happened to the five there. He had a really good run, getting a, t a ton of grip coming off uh, one and two, but then just kind of pushed it a little too hard, hit the wall there and went flipping. Luckily we uh, missed it. And we got real lucky that we were we were ahead of the seven at the line, just barely by a couple uh, thousands. Come on, 16, get up here. But hopefully we can go green to the end, that'd be great. Yeah, fucking caution. It seems like you want the position more than I do. Uh -huh. uh, you're 10 car links back off the last guy in your left hand. Ooh, four car nearly got the wall. Looks like the three almost did up there as well. Trying to see if we could run the bottom a little bit, because there's a lot of grip on the low side down there. Coming off of turn two. Three and four is just so slick. It's definitely a lot smoother you just have to really wait on the gas same with one and two one and two might be a little bit better on the outside if you could hit it right three and four you just got to really wait and not get to that inside wall seems like three and four i've been getting super loose off of so that bottom's kind of paying off a little bit for me on the three and four seven cars on our outside Ooh, it went super straight into that corner. Like, it wiggled going into three there. Good run by the seven. Oh, Jesus. He, like, checked up there on the straightaway. Got way to the inside, and that kind of worked. But you can see the momentum off of turn two. It's crazy. Got to be so careful on throttle. I feel like three and four can work for us down there. I think one and two is a little bit better up top, in my opinion, for us. Don't know where that caution was. There's literally nobody behind us. Like, there are probably half a straightaway or a full straightaway behind us. So we're going to have about, like, six, seven laps left when we go green. We fell back to sixth again. Seven cars running pretty well. Sixteen cars wrecked. He lost his front nose, it looks like, hitting that wall. So... We're going to have a few laps left when we go green. Hopefully we can get this in before the timer runs out. I don't know what exactly the timer is because it doesn't tell us in the lap timing down here anymore. It used to, but uh, I think they, they, that it hasn't been there for a while now. But hopefully we can keep running this bottom and running well. Maybe some people up here are wreck and we can get a couple spots out of this. All right. Hopefully we can go green till the end here. Have a good run here at the finish. That'd be great. It's interesting running the bottom with how wide this track is now, but they get so much momentum off the top side, you really have to run the bottom well. The first two guys are doing a great job of it. They're like pulling away, running the bottom. They're keeping a good amount of speed down there. They're probably like hitting the brakes and the gas at the same time. I'm terrible at that. I've tried practicing it. I'm just not that good at it yet. Let's go, buddy. Nice and I don't want to like just screw myself up in the race doing it. Race cars off. Be ready. Be ready. Ready. Race cars in. Be ready. Jeez, the one car brought us so slow to the green. Had a good start though. Stayed pretty close to the seven there. 
Just try to roll the bottom. See if we can get some momentum. Damn, the seven went flying off the turn two. Yeah, you really gotta get your, all your tires down there where that grip is, or you're not gonna be very fast in three and four. I think one and two will be better up top for us, speed wise. And then bottom in three and four. Because that seems like the best for me, in three and four at least, because I've. On the top side, I was getting way too sideways. Seven car decides to go low now, and we get another caution. Jesus I mean, Christ. Christ. We can't get any racing with these guys in the back. Like, there was only one wreck due to somebody up here, and he slammed the wall for turn two racing hard. And then every other wreck has just been the back markers, it seems like, and they just keep going in the pitch trying to get their car fixed and coming back out wrecking. It's been some good racing up front. The top six of us seven, pretty much, with the seven car when the uh, five car was here. And, uh, been some good racing up here. It's been a lot of fun, but we could have been done with this race, like, 15 minutes ago if we actually could have stayed green at any point in this race, because I think this is, uh, caution seven, maybe? I don't know. This has been a boring-ass race, like, being in the car driving these pace laps, so... I'll bring you guys back. We've got about, like, three, four laps left for the finish, and hopefully we can get green to the end at that point. Where I to go. All right, hopefully we can go green to the end here. It's funny how people were worried about fuel in the very beginning because we were having so many cautions. We don't really have to worry about that at all. I think if it was green the entire way and you were running up here by the wall, it'd be kind of close, but other than that, you don't have to worry about fuel for the most part. We had a pretty decent track state coming into this as well, and I knew these cars would destroy it, which makes the, this race a lot of fun, but at the same point, these cautions have really dampened the mood of everybody in this race, I feel like. The top two have been dominating. Three car was up front for the longest time. One car took it from him, and then he hasn't gotten it back since then. Bad, bad restart by us. Let's see if we can get any grip on this outside. I about went slamming into the wall there. Four car about clipped the wall, it looked like. Gonna see if I can run this bottom three and four. Just get so sideways off of four. You don't have like no speed left. Three car decided to adopt the top lane. Oh jeez, I about wait, I about did what the five did right there. Six car about destroyed the uh, opening and the back stretch. Seven car is going from like the top to the bottom now. Yeah, we have, like, nobody behind us, so I'm just gonna try to run the middle slash bottom, see if we can get any speed out of this. Maybe the six will screw up, and we'll get a spot out of him. Because he's been, like, all over the wall. Ooh, he about hit the inside right there. White flag last time around. At least we're gonna be able to get the last few laps green. Which is nice. Maybe the six car will screw up here or somebody up there will hit the wall. Four car's about to get second place from the three. Nice. Good run. I got two sideways in three and four, so we're going to finish sixth. That's all right. That's where we started at. Seven car did really well. Got up to, what, fourth? Good run by him. Four car got up to second. Three car fell back to third. Four car was flying on that outside there. It would have been interesting to see him in the uh, one car battle with the one running the bottom and the four running the top. He was very fast up there, but... That was a mess of a race. How many instants did people get? Eight car got 12. 10 car got eight. He got six, he got eight. A lot of sixes and eights back there. Uh, up front, we stayed pretty clean for the most part. I wanna go back to where the five and I actually like were really close battling. But the five screwed up somewhere. Where was it? Was it even this run? I don't even know. It might've been this run. I started catching the five because he was running the bottom. I was running the top pretty well. I just want to see where we were throwing sliders on each other, but I don't think it was this run. Yeah, we had a caution there. Might have been the next run. I think he started uh, getting sideways or almost hitting the wall or something. I just want to see where he destroyed the wall there and coming off of two. It was really close to us. I just even need to see if this was the, the run. I don't think it was again. Oh, maybe it was. He slides up there. We get a pretty good run off of turn four on him. We're going to slide back up in one and two. Went a little high. He did a good crossover there. I was trying to stay out of that opening. I think he's going to slide us back in three and four. He does. 
I got a little too sideways there off of three and four. Kind of ran the seven down because I was super sideways. And this, I think, is where the five went. Oh, he went super low is what happened. He got that grip and nailed the wall went upside down. We barely missed that off of turn two. That was terrifying. Like, he slid up. Once he hit that grip, he kind of went straight out to the wall. Barely missed it with our tires. That was lucky. But let's go back to the very beginning. See what any of these incidents were because they were just wrecking all over the place. First corner, 10 car goes in, tries to slide up on the 14. That's not going to work. Somebody else has spun back there in turn one all by themselves. 11 tries to throw a slider on the 15. That causes a big wreck back there. They're literally racing for the last spots and that was like all these wrecks. 10 car just trying to miss it, slams the wall. Oh my god. And then 14 slams into him. Nine cars stuck on the ground. He's trying to get back on his wheels. That's where I saw in my mirror somebody stuck off a of turn two. And somebody, and I think this was the 10 car that got nailed on the back stretch. I never saw him. Oh, Jesus. What happened there? Eight car got like on the side of the 13, coming off a of turn two down the back stretches, came up, about clipped them, wasn't clipping them, and then just like freaked out going into this corner. And then just nailed the brakes while turning. Went straight up into the wall. Ten car tries to go super inside, hits the inside wall, turns himself around, does a wheelie trying to hold the gas. Gets himself turned around. I don't think that actually caused the caution, did it? It might have actually. Oh, and he flipped himself. That definitely caused the caution when people came around back around. This race was just a mess with everybody in the back. 14, super sideways off turn four, just held the gas, nailed the walls, upside down, down the front stretch. Three car got in the wall a little bit, it seems like. Oh yeah, off of turn four, and that's probably where the one car may have took the lead from him. Just barely at the line, hits the wall down the front stretch as well. 13 up in the wall in three and four, just completely checks up. 16 had nowhere to go, neither did the eight. Oh, a huge wreck there coming off turn four. Again with the people in the back. 15, eight all over him, trying to bump draft him like it's Daytona. All the way up the track, they are almost three wide there. I'm shocked they didn't wreck right there. Thought for sure they were going to. They were three wide off that corner. I think the 14 was really fast. That's where the six got in the back of the four. This is where the five got in the back of the six. Five had a really good run there. The five nailed the wall. We barely missed that. That was terrifying. Did anybody else run into him? He did not hold the brakes. He just kind of got out of the way, luckily. I thought for sure one of these guys was going to hit him, especially with him not holding the brakes, staying up there. Eight car goes in, clips three and four, maybe, and then just holds the gas, gets sideways, big wreck in the back once again. These guys just could not handle these cars getting on a slick track. Like, you just let off the gas, let it roll. 13 let off, 8 didn't. <laughs> and then the 8 spins around holding the gas again. No wonder why he got 12 in 10s. I'm pretty sure that's DQing out. 10 car was super low coming off that corner. I don't think whoever that was. I think 13 maybe it was. I don't think he expected him to be that low off the corner. I wouldn't expect somebody to be that low either. 8 car, that's where he DQs out. Nails the wall. I think that was under a caution as well. Ooh, 15 car almost destroyed himself on that back stretch. And then that's the end of the race. People going into the pits. Good win by the one car. Luckily, we didn't end up in any of those wrecks. That five, The five car one was really close. Luckily, we missed that. But we started six. Could have probably finished fifth. Kind of messed up a little bit too much. Seven cars running really well there at the end. So we finished six. Probably going to lose a little bit of irate and being car number two. But that's okay. Stayed out of all the mess. And we got a zero X out of it for the most part, which was great. And I'll bring, uh, I'll, let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, results in for the only split of this. Uh, strength of field was nearly 2,300. Pretty good overall strength of field for that. Three car actually had the quickest lap of the race. He was very fast there in the beginning. Uh, we ran six basically the whole time. Lost 15. That's not terrible. We gained some safety, which is nice. I need to gain some safety on the uh, oval side. We've had some rough races uh, of late and lost down to like, I think, three, five, something like that. So I need to try to get it back on the oval side, but... This track was super worn out. I wish we would have gotten some more green flag racing. How many cautions we got? We had eight cautions in 30 laps. That is just sad. That's terrible. And uh, it was like pretty much all the guys in the back. So many incidents happened back here from about, what, ninth on back? There was a ton of incidents. Oh, even seventh. Seventh finished with eight. So 
Can't believe that they had that many back there. That's kind of crazy. They lost a ton of safety back here. But luckily, up front was actually a pretty good run between the top seven of us besides uh, the five being up there with us. He just nailed the wall once. Destroyed his race, which is unfortunate. He ha he was having a pretty good run overall. What was card number one? He's at 4444 irony. Nice. Love to see that. But everybody was pretty close up top with irony. The four car was still over 4K. What was the five? Five cars where it dropped like a thousand. So the top four cars were over 4K. So it was a pretty high strength field for the top guys. And then what was car number 16? He was like close to a thousand. So that's where it dropped it back down. But overall, had a decent uh, time in the race. Just wish we would have had more green flag laps. And I wish I wouldn't have screwed up as much as I did trying to figure out different lanes. But the track getting so worn out makes it interesting running different lanes. Four cars very fast there at the end on the top. One car is pretty quick on the bottom. Would have been interesting to see those two battle it out because uh, four got by the three there right at the end on the last lap, which was a good run by the four because he worked his way up from third. He fell back to fourth at one point and then got that spot back and went forward. So good run overall, a lot of fun. Like I said, wish like the back half of the people weren't there and we could add some different drivers and not had as many wrecks. That would have been great, but... Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race and I'll catch you guys in the next one.